Hello Windows Experience, today we're going to talk about operating system Windows 98, 22 year old operating system. Windows 98 is from Microsoft, it's developed by Microsoft. It's a part of the 9X family. It's the updated version of Windows 95, which is uh, released uh, two, three years earlier. The operating system is released on June 25, 1998. And uh, the release of manufacturing was up on the date May 15, 1998. The support was first uh, till 2004, but because of the popularity of that time, they uh, replaced it to, to July 11, 2006. Uh, it sold around the uh, 58 million uh, copies of Windows 98, so that's much. Windows 98 had also a new startup, a new kind of startup, and you hear it now. and the shutdown. The development began as a code name Memphis around January uh, 1997. They tried to develop and release uh, some updates and some developments of uh, Windows 98 and uh, the name Windows 98 was revealed on July 1997. They introduced also the new startup shutdown. Uh, they uh, had some problems with the USB support because USB was new at the time but it would replace the floppy disk at the time. They had to solve them, that's why uh, Windows 98 was not released earlier because they wanted to uh, released at the first quarter of 1998. They made up a campaign uh, with the new uh, release of the Internet Explorer 4. At the time, it is integrated with Windows 98. So you have a better internet features, as I, I said. New applications like Outlook Express and also Microsoft Chat. Windows Live Manager was a new concept at the time. The title bar had new uh, graphical design updates. As I said, new teams at Windows 98. Here are all the teams. It was more possible to emulate uh, MS-DOS games, so old MS-DOS games. More uh, USB support, with better monitor support, so better resolution. Network improvement. Applications as Notepad Paint are updated and have better pixels, new sounds like low battery, critical battery. Uh, you have also the Windows 98 second edition that is released one year later. It's like an updated a version of Windows 98 with bug fixes and Internet Explorer 5 was replaced. Uh, better device support, so better uh, CD-ROM also support. Camcorder support, so if you have a camcorder or a camera, you can connect it to the computer and then you can place it on the computer. And upgrade it to the new functions, so upgraded settings and configuration system. There are system requirements if you want to run Windows 98. I'm gonna explain it in two, vari uh, two uh, variants, like the Windows 98 and the Windows 98 Second Edition. The processor, you need an Intel 8486 or higher for both. You need a random ASUS memory of 60 megabytes for Windows 98 and for 24 megabytes for Second Edition. Storage is around 200 megabytes. A CD-ROM is recommended and a mouse or keyboard is also needed. We're on the Windows 98 uh, logon screen. This is the logon screen. Totally new, so we're gonna open it. I have no password, so that's why. Oh, I hear the startup sound. And this sound. 
was always to appear when you open windows. Okay. Okay. So I used Windows 98 when I was 5 or something like that. But let's check it out. You have the integrated Internet Explorer now. And it says, welcome to MSN Internet Aces. Connect to the internet. Internet was new and you have sites and websites and they, uh, they will come. So you have a new kind of a startup button and here you can update the windows and you have the problems here it's all sorted in folders like here and you go to accessories internet tools entertainment so sound recorder cd player so cd runs communications uh, by the way all the sounds that uh, of Windows 98 are in the description. I put the video in the description. I also been, I already made that video, so yeah. Okay. I don't know what this is. I think some oh, something for the installation. We haven't that much uh, that much application on it. Imaging, just open images, notepad, paint. Paint is just updated, so. Yeah, you uh, still have the pixel. Uh, oh, there are three colors in it. So I can make the Windows logo here. Okay, this is really hard when you, you get used to Windows uh, with, with paint.net, where I added my videos from. Uh, it's just really simple and basic, so yeah. So I name it Windows logo. Oh, you have uh, when you click on the right button of your mouse, you have the function that you can go to the properties and browse. I have it on my documents. Oh, documents, documents. My documents. And you have paint. My paint logo that I met that I've made. So you see what I've created. It's in the background now. It will say we call it time. Documents. Oh. Oh, there's a new file manager. The file manager is uh, just updated in the graphical user interface. Ah, not so uh, good as uh, Windows 7, but this is a really good rate update. This is a really great update. They say uh, Windows 98 is one of the best uh, operating systems. And I, I understand it. <laughs> also, pick up your favorite sites on this so you can Fox News if you have to help <clears throat> I hope you have some games but we go to the control panel and I understand if I can personalize my taskbar screensaver I knew when I used Windows 98 when it was uh, out of the case I knew there was a maze and I was really obsessed with it because it was 3D and that was really cool but I think the most screensavers you know from Windows XP is really nostalgic screensavers were really really uh, satisfying uh, this appearance yeah you can change it to a lot you can change it to dessert and you also can change the font, so I go to Segu and a black black uh, background. Uh, what do you have more? Minesweeper or Solitaire? I don't know where the games are. Where are the games? Oh, then I knew uh, Windows Media Player was not updated at the time, but you can uh, record. This is, uh, by the way, the second edition of Windows 98. 98 and here you can open but I don't have videos on this computer or just on this operating system explore programs you can also adjust the test the menu with uh, make a new map with Windows Super. 
Oh, Windows Expert, yeah. And then, oh, hello. Uh, I only miss one thing that it's really annoying because uh, I want to search for a program that's called Minesweeper, just a game. But there's no uh, search bar toolbar here. And it was also able to play games on the CD-ROM. So when you open CD-ROM, then you can... I was used to play Freddy Fish and Poop Put on it. So uh, then you can set up here. So all that kind of games you can play on the uh, Windows 98. I'm also curious if you open something like this and you go to properties. Oh yeah, the uh, create date and that was on 1999. I love the graphics of when you start up a program and then uh, a title screen will come and appear. A title screen will appear and the graphics are so bad but also so good and nostalgic to see because when you start up the game, when I was younger, you also see that title screen and then you say, yes, I want to start up the game. Same as Rollercoaster 1 or something like that. When you install it, it was really fun, but now if you start up a game, it's just the time screen is so good and at that time the resolution was really bad. So yeah, that's my lucky moment for Windows 98. That was it for Windows 98. I love this operating system. If I want to choose, uh, this is one of my favorite uh, operating systems. So yeah, that's really good to hear. Uh, this was a way better operating system than Windows 95. Windows 95 is not that good developed than Windows 98. And I see a lot of nostalgic things, as I said, because I am from 2000. Uh, uh, that means that I was uh, minus two when this was released. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later in the next video about Windows Millennium Edition or Windows 2000. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. What is also so cool, I've got the Windows Experience cap.